All right, let's get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Suresh Govindachetti. I work as a senior solution engineer with Sumo Logic, and I'm going to be a host today, and I'm going to walk you through a, a cloud SIEM live demo. So before I get on to the um, SIEM interface, I would like to quickly show you uh, the three major areas that we'd like to discuss. One is the records, signals, and insights. The records are similar to the uh, total number of logs which come into the platform, various events, logs, etc. This is the records, and these records give rise to signals. So the um, signals in turn will give rise to insights. Most of the platforms they stop at the signal level, whereas um, we automatically correlate the signals to provide you insights, which we will see as part of the webinar. Today. So um, what you're seeing now is a purpose-built interface, keeping the security analyst in mind. This is the HUD view. And as we talk, you can see the uh, HUD view refreshing itself. And there are three circles over here. So th there is an outer circle, there's an inner circle, and then uh, you can see there are a couple of red triangles over here. And let us see what these are. So I'm actually looking at my uh, cloud sim. It is online. I'm looking at data for uh, last 24 hours. And here I can see there are around 3 million records in this last 24 hours. And out of this 3 million records, um, I'm able to see there are around 527K signals which are actually generated by these records. So these signals are generated automatically by going through all of these records. And um, this is a place where most of the traditional SAMs leave it to you. Leave it to you. So the analyst is actually left to go through all the signals, uh, pass through them, correlate all of them, make a mental map of what has actually happened, which pretty much results in a uh, alert uh, fatigue. So here we can see that uh, from this 527k signals, uh, the Sumo Logic has actually gone through all of the signals, and uh, we are actually showing you there are eight critical insights which needs to be looked into. Right? This is what requires your predominant attention over here. I can choose any duration that I want. I can look out for last two days. I can look out for any duration that I want. I will stick out for 24 hours for this particular webinar. And here we can see the hard view here. The outer circle shows the uh, number of records which are coming in. This is similar to the logs, events, et cetera, which is actually ingested into the platform. The inner circle shows all the signals which are generated from this from this records. You can see the various different signals being uh, generated by the system automatically by passing through all of these records. And in the inner circle, you can see the insights. These are correlated, uh, uh, I would say, uh, detections from Sumo Logic, uh, which shows you that uh, the critical incidences that you need to look into as part of this platform. You don't have to go through all this 526K. We have done the job of correlating all of them. So you can go through this eight different insights, which covers all the major security incidences which are there in this last 24 hours. You can also see some um, metrics here. So this shows um, the insights by status. Uh, there are eight new here. We also see progress, in progress, um, custom, closed. So you can see all those um, signals, uh, insights, which are shown by various different signals, or colors, color coding over here. Uh, on the right-hand side, I can see the latest insight, which is generated now. You can see insight number, which was exfiltration with credential access. You can see a, a plus symbol over here. Uh, the horizontal axis shows the timeline. The Unlike the uh, other solutions, which even struggle for correlating signals across a couple of hours, uh, Sumo Logic by default looks into last uh, 14 days of data, and this can always be customized to look at even a longer uh, duration. So all the low and slow attacks, everything can be detected by the platform um, immediately. We also have a vertical axis here, which shows the uh, severity of the uh, various different signals, which are actually detected by the platform. And you can see uh, various different activities happening over here, which is actually shown in this particular window. And let's get into uh, insights, which is a major I would say a differentiation of the Sumo Logic platform. Here I can see all those insights which are actually generated by the platform. I can go through a list or I can actually go through a Kanban sort of a view. And you can also see the uh, case management built into the platform. I can actually drag and drop uh, the um, tickets into uh, various different stages. Say for example, I'm moving this to a, a tier three and you can see the uh, ticket automatically moving into the tier three over here. And you can see uh, the various different insights which are generated in this particular view. And let us look at one of those insights. So I see there are a couple of insights in progress. I see there is here insight three, five, three, two persistence with initial access. And let me take a closer look at it. So I'm opening up this particular insight. And here I can see the details about this particular insight. So there is a insight number. 
and I can see this persistence with initial axis. This is actually corresponding to the uh, mitre uh, stages as well. So from here, I can see the status is actually in progress and I can see it is actually assigned to one of my analysts who is actually working through it, doing investigation over here. And here you can actually see the uh, entity, which is actually in related to this particular uh, insight. Entities are uh, IP addresses, uh, MAC addresses, host name, host IP addresses, etc. So we track all the entities, um, which results in uh, signals, which corresponds to the insights end of the day. You can see the severity of it. We can also see a global confidence here. So uh, this gives you the confidence that uh, the insight that you see here is actually malicious. And um, we get this uh, insight from the uh, global cohort of customers who have faced similar sort of incident or a security insight before. So we would be adding a score as you take action. So when you investigate this and then you close it, yeah, this adds to the score. And if you see that it is a false positive, you can actually close this uh, saying that this is not a, a so insight as such, valid insight as such, all of that adds weightage to this particular global signal, global confidence. This helps you to see that whether this uh, uh, incident which is being reported, the uh, insight which is being shown over here is of uh, high fidelity or not. You can also see the uh, data, signal data here. There are five unique signals uh, which have actually contributed to this particular insight. And uh, the last one was seen a day ago, and you can see the event time, et cetera, along with the various different tactics which are actually involved in this particular discovery of this particular insight. Um, here, I can actually see the uh, insight details over here. I'm able to see uh, there are totally five unique signals here. The signal one is the vulnerability being reported over here. You can see the date and time of it. Uh, you can also see there is a proof point tab which says a user received email with a phishing link. And I can see the uh, checkpoint threat emulation and then a threat intel actually showing a match. And then finally, CrowdStrike showing a reduction summary event. So um, let us take one incident and then take a closer look at it. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, get into um, one of the uh, signals over here. And um, I'm actually opening up this uh, proof point tab. So you can see there are a lot of data which actually adds to a lot of context when it comes to investigation security incidences. Uh, the expression or the rule which is actually causing um, the uh, signal to be generated is actually shown over here. And you can see the severity of it, the event time, when the signal got generated, the entity which is involved. And you can see the rule which is actually triggering this particular signal. And the signal is actually not related to any other insights. And uh, you can see the various tags which showing this is an initial access corresponding to the MITRE attack framework. And you can see there is a lot of data which actually helps you in getting additional security context. So you can see this is the source and you can see um, various different action. You can see action as click is permitted. So this looks like in this particular case, the user actually clicked the link which came in the email. And um, you can see the HTTP URL over here. And uh, you can see there is a lot of other data which helps in the um, context of investigating this particular incident. And if we go back to the uh, signal insight here. So um, I'm going back to my uh, signals. And here I can see uh, the next signal over here, which is the checkpoint threat emulation, which shows a malicious file has been allowed. And uh, here I can see, similarly, I can see there's a lot of data which helps in investigating this particular incident. I can see the source here, and I can see this is the destination which has been involved. And I can also see, I can actually do additional investigation. I can do, I can launch uh, all my um, correlations. I can do all my lookups, et cetera, just by coming over here. I can do a, a virus total search. I can uh, scan the reputation of this IP, et cetera. I can see the details here. Uh, it, this shows things like uh, uh, the action is actually uh, detection and it shows uh, the uh, file hash, it shows the um, destination, it shows the file MD5, et cetera. Looks like in this particular case, a malicious file has been uh, downloaded. Now I am going back to my next signal over here and I can actually clearly make out that uh, just by going through the sequence of uh, uh, signals over here, I can understand that uh, a user has actually received an email with a phishing link, looks like the user clicked the link and uh, the thread point, so the checkpoint actually shows a malicious file actually got downloaded in this particular user. And my threat intel shows a device IP actually matched with a threat intel file. So this shows that there is a, a correlation, the threat intel correlation, which shows the IP address involved in this is actually malicious. And I can see a crowd strike detection summary, which finally shows that uh, a malicious event has been detected at the endpoint level. 
right so india uh, traditional saem the user uh, or the analyst is actually left to go through the various signals which are generated and to stitch all the events together to understand what has actually happened whereas with the uh, insight from sumologic the analyst can easily make out uh, the sequence of events and he can do further investigations and he can understand what has actually happened so in this case looks like the user received a, a phishing link the user clicked the link a malicious file got downloaded and looks like the user got infected so now that i know what has actually happened i can actually um, go ahead and then i can take a suitable action over here i can create a slack alert there are a lot of integrations over here we can actually do sore integrations if you want to automate a response for this you can see all those different options over here and once i take my action i can go ahead and then i can close this particular insight so that is a, a quick summary about uh, how the insights can actually help you and you can see the timelines of those insights as well here so uh, once i hover my mouse on top of this i can see the vulnerabilities reported and you can also see uh, the various time durations and the severity of all those different uh, signals which is shown in this particular uh, time up over here um, having seen that let's look at the various different signals so these are all the um, signals that has actually been generated by the platform you can see uh, the uh, signals uh, they detect numerous different things uh, starting from uh, aws environments multi-cloud environments hybrid on-prem etc so you can see all your uh, signals over here and you can actually filter out for those signals by uh, typing anything say for example i am typing aws and it's going to show me all the signals which have been generated for example an aws sort of an environment over here uh, entities the entities are uh, ip addresses uh, mac addresses host names usernames etc we track a, a entity and here you can see i'm opening up one of the entity over here and uh, i can see um, all the various different i would say uh, the uh, detections which are part of this particular entity is actually being shown over here it is being tracked and you can see all uh, activity score is actually getting assigned and once the activity pro score crosses here a threshold we are actually going to fire a signal for that right so we can uh, track all those different entities over here and the records are the uh, raw log records which come from a diverse set of sources. You can bring in data from all of your platforms. These can be uh, your multi-cloud, AWS, Azure, GCP sort of sources. It can be on-prem, hybrid, et cetera. Having seen that, let's look on some interesting stuff here. This is the rule engine. We provide out-of-the-box content. You can see there are around 500 plus uh, rules over here. And uh, these rules span across various categories and they help us in uh, detecting things when things go bad. There any uh, security breaches, incidences, etc. You can go ahead and then you can create your own rules yourself. Apart from what we provide us out of the box, you can create four different type of rules. This can be a match rule when a specific condition matches, then we will trigger a signal. Uh, you can see a threshold based. A threshold is something like uh, within uh, one minute um, we are actually able to see more login failures. Uh, chain is we can combine multiple um, conditions together, and then we have aggregation as a rule type so you can create all those different type of rules yourself and um, you can also bring in threat intel feeds um, we support bringing in uh, the free feeds like the taxi feeds etc if you have invested in any uh, existing threat intel sources uh, we can integrate all of them to enrich the context of all those signals which are actually getting generated in the platform we also have match lists over here using the match list we can actually create a Match list, which can help you with respect to say, for example, you don't want uh, any signal to be generated for vulnerability scanners because this is a known source. We are actually doing vulnerability scanning, VIP accounts, cloud administrators, et cetera. So you can create groups and then you can take suitable action based on your grouping logic. We also support uh, uh, Yara rules. So you can do all your final file analysis over here and uh, custom insights. You can create your own uh, insights. You can see one of the uh, custom insight rules over here so you can create your own custom insight and uh, based on that uh, we can actually generate uh, the uh, insight when this particular condition matches you can create suppression list um, so you can suppress uh, unwanted signals from getting raised so there are a lot of options over here suppressed entities network blocks so you can create all of them over here so the idea is that uh, we can uh, go through millions of records and we can uh, create the signals we don't stop here like how the traditional SAM stop we go through all the signals 
we auto correlate all the signals and probably do the insights which helps you to focus on what is more important for you to see inside your uh, entire infrastructure right so that's pretty much uh, what i wanted to show you 